video shows how work in Creo Elements direct rendering. This model produces photorealistic images of model. To activate the rendering model, go to the Application tab, click License, Models and check rendering in included group. After activation the rendering model, the rendering browser opens in the browser bar. The rendering browser provides access to every feature and option in the Creo Elements direct rendering model. There are four tabs located at the top of the rendering browser. Materials. This tab offers a library of render materials that we can assign to our model. Lights. This tab provides light studios or arrangements of lights. Select from variety of building light studios or create a customize your own. Scene. This tab helps to select and apply backgrounds, foregrounds and environments to the image of model. Archives. This tab creates and manages rendering archives that contain the lights, scenes and materials specified by a user. The two default archives are user-defined materials and user-defined vault. Create a scene to give model rendered image and ideal look. Scene can contain a background and foreground and an environment. It can also include scenery such as a base on which the model rests. To apply backgrounds, foregrounds, environments and other scenery to a scene, Click the Scene tab in the Rendering Browser. Right-click the scenery you wish to apply and select Apply to current scene. Or drag the scenery and drop it in the wire pot. If you want to delete existing scene, go to the Scene Catalog and choose Default scene or empty scene. The Materials tab contains a wide variety of realistic looking render materials which can apply to user model. We have a model of extrusion die as demo part. Usually extrusion dies are still. To apply a render materials to a part or face, select part of face in the viewport and click the materials tab in the rendering browser. Right click the render materials you wish to apply and select apply to model or drag the render materials and drop in the wire port. Newly assigned render materials replace existing ones. As you see our part looks like steel. Also, in dialog box of assigning materials, you can select instance or base property. We choose this property when we have share parts. If you want to add material to all of the share parts together, then you need to add base. If you want to add one of the shared parts separately, then you need to add to instance. Lighting is largely responsible for creating the realistic look of your model. The Rendering Browser Lights tab contains a wide variety of lighting arrangement, call it Light Studios, that you can apply to your scene. To apply a Light Studio to scene, click the Lights tab in the Rendering Browser, the Lights menu appears. 
right click the light studio you wish to apply and select apply to current scene or drag the light studio and drop it in the wire pod. Also use the current create own directory with necessary materials. We can do this by right mouse click in materials tab and select new entity and new directory. The new directory appears in main materials catalog. We can rename it for example my materials. To add any material just use copy paste function. 